Hello out there, YouTube. What's up, guys? It's Steve down here, the most chill COD player. Uh, first of all, I uh, want to again apologize for not posting in the past few days, but I wanted my last video to really stay on there for a little bit. And uh, I really was hoping that that video was going to build some momentum. And I honestly thought that Vaughn would probably would would watch that. Um, but I, I guess he didn't. I never got a response. Um, I've tweeted it to him. Uh, every single day since then and uh, for those of you uh, guys who came over and actually subscribed from that video I do want to thank you um, so uh, without further ado let's get into the gameplay um, I am uh, rocking probably my favorite setup uh, in this game so far it's the MSMC with the stock attachment and uh, fast mags my perks are lightweight with ghost um, and toughness with scavenger and then dexterity um, I have no secondary weapon and no um, grenades of any kind and uh, yeah it works out really really well um, using the stock on an SMG really enhances the mobility as well as adding lightweight so if you feel confident that you can get your streaks without running hardline I would highly highly recommend it um, it's it's just a ton of fun to use and uh, yeah I also hate crossbows that happens to me all the time um, anyway moving on um, uh, the final score in this game I get 52 kills um, uh, my score streaks I'm using are stealth chopper lodestar and dogs and uh, overall pretty good very fast paced very aggressive game so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, now I'm making this commentary kind of on the fly. I didn't really have any uh, subjects to talk about. So let's just get into some random shit, shall we? Um, well, it's not really shit, but uh, for those of you who are new or just don't watch all my commentaries, um, I'm expecting my first child here in a couple days. Uh, yeah, literally a couple days. Um, today is the 4th. She is due on the 6th. So literally two days is the due date. Um, however, uh, the wifey, she's not showing a whole lot of progress on being able to give birth naturally. Um, so we do have a date scheduled for an induced labor, and that is the 11th. So I know at the very least, um, well, it's the 11th at 10 p.m. So she would not be born, most likely, until the morning of the 12th. So I do know at the very least that um, on the 12th I will be a father for the first time. And uh, the thought is very, very exciting. I'm very, very, very excited for this. Um, I know that the wife you will also be very excited to get this baby out of her, as apparently being pregnant is not a whole lot of fun. Um, but that's okay. I understand if I had to carry around like a little midget inside me, um, I'd probably be pissed off too. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's that's a little baby update for you guys. Um, let's talk Black Ops 2 for a little bit. Um, I've been messing around with the LMGs a lot today, trying to rank them up, trying to figure out what's good and what's not. And honestly, at first glance, the LMGs seem really, really good. The first one you unlock, it's a three or four hit kill. There is no five hit kill. It is at most a four hit kill. And the thing is an absolute monster. Um, the they I think they really, really increased the the mobility of LMGs compared to past Call of Duties. Um, if you look at the damage chart, like the stats for it, it says it's 85%. So with Lightweight, that puts it at 92%, which is on par with an assault rifle. So not too bad. Um, and then, I mean, overall they're really, really good. Um, I've only really messed around with two of them. And they have zero recoil. The two that I've used have absolutely no recoil whatsoever. So, I mean, they're actually really, really good guns. And you would think that they'd be really really beast uh, especially with lightweight and a stock attachment you know you could maneuver just like you do with an assault rifle um, the thing that I found is the problem though is the ADS time it, it doesn't really it's just feels so so slow even with quick draw I feel like quick draw doesn't do anything on the LMGs and um, that is really unfortunate because um, you know I've tested I did a little like uh, my own little T. Martin type of test where I just went into a private match and uh, gave it a shot and I tried it um, 
with rapid fire and there's still almost no recoil um, you just get a little up and down recoil so really really manageable um, I tried the laser side on it you know get your get your hip fire on and it's a really really tight spread especially for an LMG so you would think with with attachments like that that work really really well that these guns would be beast but quite honestly without a, a decently fast ADS there's just no way at all that the guns can be competitive with SMGs and assault rifle, especially since most people use SMGs. Um, so hopefully, whenever they see that not many people are using the LMGs, um, they might, you know, take a second to look at why, and hopefully they raise the ADS time. Um, I honestly think if they just raise the ADS time, that these guns will be competitive with any other gun, and I mean, I'll probably use them all the time. Um, let's see what else. Um, I have heard that. Um, on the next patch that's coming um, from Treyarch, they are going to increase uh, the score it takes to get a UAV. Uh, thoughts on that? I think it's really, really good because you know you're almost required to run ghosts in this game to be successful because of the UAV spam. Uh, it might hinder the pace of the game a little bit without throwing up, without people throwing up UAVs all the time. But once, depending on where they put it. Um, I will most likely probably um, quit running Ghost. At the very least, I know I'm going to use it a whole lot less. It just depends on what they bump it up to. Um, if they make it on par with maybe a counter UAV, um, it'll. I doubt a lot of people will will use it as much. And so I'll probably run uh, lightweight and hardline, which I'm very very excited about that because using that setup is intense, especially with SMGs. You can move around so fast. And um, with hardline pick up your kill streaks that much faster. So all in all, should be really really good. I just hope that they don't you know just bump it up like 50 points. That'd be pretty much worthless. But um, what else? Um, connection issues. Yeah, I'm still having them. I don't know if you guys are. I mean, that was the whole reason I made my um, my little love letter to Vaughn, who didn't really seem to appreciate it because he didn't, I guess, watch it. But regardless, um, I'm still having issues. It's really, really frustrating. Um, you know, so many times, you know, you just shoot first and you still die. Um, I really, really hope that they fix this because it's so tempting to go back to Modern Warfare 3. Um, whenever I was having some internet problems the other day, I wasn't quite sure if it was the Black Ops servers or not, so I went and did go play a couple games on, uh, on Modern Warfare 3, and it just felt so, so much smoother. And, uh... I mean, I mean, you guys obviously have heard my thoughts on that from my last video, so you know, there's not really too much to add. I just, I'm just, I think if they fix that, this game will be perfect, and I'll, you know, it'll be the best Call of Duty yet. But um, anyway, so that's it. That's the video. It's wrapping up once again. Uh, 52 kills on hijacked. Um, you might give this class uh, set up a shot. I think you'd really, really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. A lot of really fast-paced action. But anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next video. Bye.